This is Isaac Newton, English astronomer, mathematician, and physicist. His name is so widespread. But what is he truly known for? Besides having beautiful hair and inventing calculus, Newton is acknowledged for his three laws of motion. When developing his laws, he simplified his treatment for massive bodies by ignoring factors like friction, air resistance, temperature, and the like, and focusing on mass, length, and time. As a result, Newton's laws cannot be used to accurately describe the behavior of large objects, only approximations. Newton's laws concern the motion of large bodies in an inertial frame of reference, which is basically a three-coordinate system at a constant velocity. Motion within such a frame could be described using three laws. The first law of motion states that a body at rest will remain at rest, and a body in motion will remain in motion unless it is acted upon by an external force. Basically, an object cannot start, stop, or go in a different direction by themselves. Some force acting on them needs to do this. A ball rolling down a hill will keep rolling unless friction or another force stops it. This is an example of Newton's first law. If an index card is placed on top of a glass with a penny on top of it, the index card can quickly be removed while the penny falls straight into the glass. The penny is showing inertia. Newton's second law of motion states that the force acting on an object is equal to the mass of that object times its acceleration. Mathematically, it can be written as F is equal to MA, F meaning force, M mass, and A acceleration. This equation describes what happens to an object when an external force acts upon it. Force and acceleration are vector quantities, meaning they have magnitude, or value, and direction. A force applied to an object at rest will cause it to accelerate with the direction of the force. So if I take this ball, and I push it to the west, it will move to the west. Surprisingly, the Newton is the SI unit of force. It is equal to the force it would give a mass of 1 kilogram and acceleration of 1 meter per second per second, or 1 meter per second squared. If you need to buy food items and you're in a hurry, just take the mass of the cart and its acceleration and multiply the two to get the force required to push the cart. And finally, the third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Just like socks, forces always occur in pairs. When a body exerts a force, on another body. The second body pushes back just as hard. When you push a wall, the wall pushes back. When you pull a rope, the rope does the same. When gravity pulls you down, the ground pushes you up. Well, I hope you know more about Isaac Newton and his contributions to the studies of physics we know today. All these laws are happening right now, and that's the true beauty of it. We are able to calculate the force it takes to move an object. Right now, gravity is pulling me down while the ground pushes me up. And finally, a body at rest will remain at rest. Good night.